And what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is your boy Cheap Ludes, and I'm here with my second video of the day. So before we get started, obviously, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, when it comes to comment, comment down below what you think about tomorrow's draft, and who's going where, and what teams should select who, and then also comment down below if you'd be interested in a NBA draft stream on Twitch. Um, jump down below and comment if i get enough people that comment i will jump on during the draft and i'll do a stream and i'll chat with everybody about the draft as it's going on as a bulls fan this is going to be pretty hard for me because i know we're going to pick someone terrible like um this israeli dude instead of trying to move up for lamella ball but anyways before we go any farther today's video we're going to be talking about cards coming to nba 2k21 my team in the future um i am not an oracle so how do i know which cards are going to be coming easy well tomorrow it's a pretty good bet that if it is not tomorrow it's going to be at least in the next week we're going to be getting a league pack update at some point um maybe we get league set two already um but at some point we're going to get an update to these sets because we've had a lot of pieces move around so i wouldn't be surprised if we got uh 21 current you know nba packs um, over the next couple week with just an entire new set of cards because if you're not aware a lot of trades are occurring right now a lot of things are moving around um, the bucks team looks completely completely different no more eric bledsoe no more george hill no more urson no more robin lopez from what i understand he's probably signing somewhere else um, no more dj wilson no more well wesley matthews is still there no more dante di vicenzo um Instead, we're getting J. Rue Holiday and Bogdan Bogdanovich, um, which I hope I just said that name right, added to the Bucks roster. Obviously, the Suns roster is looking a lot different as well. Um, fashion god Kelly Oubre is now gone. And uh, who else is gone? Someone else is gone. Ricky Rubio. Ty Jerome, uh, who I don't even really know anything about that guy whatsoever. Um, I think akobo has gone. And Jalen Leck whatever i don't know how to say that name he's gone as well so no more will we be drawing bronze jalen lacues uh like i do constantly um i believe a lot of these guys are going to be gone so a lot of these teams are going to look a lot different robert covington just showed up on the portland trailblazers giving them that wing that they've so desperately fucking needed for the last like i don't know 10 years <laughs> so that's pretty good shout out mario hozonia i thought this dude was about to be so good anyways so I believe that's what's coming. We're also going to get all the cards from the draft. We're obviously going to get added to the team, so I think that's something that we're going to be seeing. But other new cards. So that's that's in the next couple weeks. Obviously, Pink Diamond JR is coming as well. So if you're interested at all, um, one way to see at least partially, because 2K does add new cards that aren't previously like in the game's files or they're hidden for whatever reason because they want to do like a surprise reveal or whatever. But if you're interested in cards that may be coming out, obviously like big names, like yes, we're going to get a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar at some point. Yeah, we're going to get like Magic Johnsons. Like players like that, obviously we're going to get. Um, it's pretty much guaranteed. Um, the only big name old school players that you're never going to see are like Reggie Miller, uh, Charles Barkley, Rashid Wallace. Um, but one way to do that is to go to the auctions. Now, it's kind of interesting if you're looking for specific players you can just sit here and you know basically just look and search a name like at the beginning of the year if you're like oh are we getting tracy mcgrady yes obviously he's in the auctions which means a card is coming um trenton hassel another card that will be showing up at some point not a name that people would really like but it's something that you can do so if you don't really have any names in mind um one way i recommend doing it is just typing in h why because you can sit here and go through and you can look at cards like Hakeem Warwick isn't on any of the um, classic teams. Um, he might be on like the I believe he was on the Rockets for a little bit. So he might be on like the 08 Rockets team, but I don't think so. So you can see in the future at some point we're going to get a Hakeem Warwick card. Um, does that excite a lot of people? <laughs> no, not really. Um, that being said, his diamond card was actually really good last year. <coughs> Sorry, I do have a sore throat, so my voice is a little messed up. Um, <clears throat> I do not have, you know, it just always gets this way around this year. So, 
Obviously, we're getting Hito Turkoglu at some point. That's something that is exciting to a lot of people, myself included. I'm a big Hito fan, especially if they give him base 11. <clears throat> but this is a way that you can look through and actually see what cards we're getting and where. <coughs> Cliff Hagen, <laughs> if you're interested in that guy. Um, I think Cliff Hagen's probably going to be like a token reward or like a triple threat offline guy. Um I mean, that's just, that just makes too much sense. But, you know, you can go through here and you can look at cards that, okay, I haven't seen this card in the game, like Ron Harper I haven't seen. So at some point we're going to get a Ron Harper card probably in the token market or a triple threat offline. Um, this is just kind of the best way to look and see if there's any guys. And this kind of helps you plan out for the future. Like, okay, I kind of want, I don't know, let's find a guy that isn't in the game yet. Um, I don't know why anybody would want this, but... I want Rod Higgins for some reason. I, I don't know. Somebody out there is a Rod Higgins stand. I, I don't know. Maybe they want to play with him or whatever. Um, but I want him. Uh, what should I do to get prepared for Rod Higgins? I mean, to be honest with you, Rod Higgins obviously would be a either a token reward Sapphire or a Ruby, or he'd be, I don't know, a TTO reward. So obviously you're going to have to be ready to play TTO. Kirk Heinrich. Uh, yeah, I like Kirk Heinrich in game. Um, Kirk Heinrich basically just screams triple threat online reward. Triple threat online reward are usually like mid 2000s guys or like bigger guys. They, they're more grindable guys. So, you know, looking through here, you can obviously see guys that are probably going to be packable and you can see guys that are probably going to be reward players based on when they played in the league. Um, I'm not going to go through every single letter here, but the main thing is I just wanted to point this out because it's just something weird that a lot of people don't know about. So I just wanted to make sure people knew. So just look through and you can find all the guys that you like. Like James Donaldson was really good last year. He's not on any of the classic teams from my knowledge, um, possibly some of the domination guys, but we're probably going to get a James Donaldson card last year. And if you remember last year, he was one of the best rebounding cards in the game. So that's something. Um, actually incredibly solid. He just couldn't shoot, so everyone uh, kicked him to the curb almost immediately. We got Jared Jackson Sr. out here in the mix. Ooh, boy. <laughs> Super excited. Jason Richardson, um, another guy who I'm actually pretty excited about. Jason Richardson is typically really good in-game, so that's something that's really nice. Um, Jason Terry should be fun for, like, a week because he's, like, six foot zero, and they'll probably put him at shooting guard and can't play point guard because that's, like, a 2K move. Jerry Lucas will probably be some sort of reward whether that be like probably won't be unlimited they've been doing a good job on unlimited um the limited rewards have been really good too so i think that's more of like a you know uh tto tt offline reward joe caldwell the goat i can't wait for that card to show up he'll actually be packable i'm guessing because he was a really popular card last year so you know if you're curious about that just kind of go and put one letter in a, it'll either get the starting letter of a first name or a last name and just scroll through and see if there's any guys that you're curious about um, or that you're really excited to use and you can bet at some point that they are going to show up in the game now like I said it's there's no way to really timestamp exactly when that happens so you know when are we gonna get RV to Sabonis who knows um, keep in mind that there is going to be an update and we are going to get opals and black matters added to the token market at some point. Now, chances are, like, when I look at someone like Arvidas Sabonis, Arvidas Sabonis is probably going to be one of those guys. You know, he's going to be one of the Galaxy Opal or Black Matter rewards. That just makes the most sense to me. He typically is a pretty good card in 2K, and I'm guessing they're going to keep it like that. Worst case scenario, he's like Diamond or Pink Diamond or whatever. Um, Lafonso Ellis is another guy I've predicted is going to be up there. That's just a personal opinion. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Sorry it's not crazy informative, but it is something that I wanted to point out because it is nice to at least know what might be coming in the future before you leverage a lot of your MT on, you know, current cards. Um, and, you know, just in general, I wouldn't leverage a lot of MT on current cards. Like, I do because I have a YouTube channel, so I try to get as many cards as humanly possible. Um, that I can review for you guys so you guys don't waste your money on cards that aren't good. 
Um, in that way, I can tell you if a card that, like DeMar DeRozan, is a good example of a card that on paper looks like it sucks, but is actually pretty decent, um, especially in, when it comes to like next gen, when it's you're not so reliant on just cheesing rim running and cheesing three-pointers, and you have to actually play basketball. Um, so knowing the ins and outs of every card is very important, and that's what I try to bring to you guys. So anyways, thank you for watching. Like I said, um, I might drop another video later today um, just going through playbooks and plays in general and freelances and stuff like that and basically how to operate how to use them um, and playbooks that work really really well so I might do that later um, there I will say I'll save you the trouble there are no money plays this year like a quick through STS um, or anything of that nature um, possibly there are a next gen, but in current gen, they basically are all nerfed. We had one play in the Pistons playbook that 2K promptly removed from the game. I don't really know why. If anything, it just helps people play the game. But at the same time, I do kind of understand it because people weren't buying as many new cards last year because we had quick through STS. So you could just kind of run through all the single player challenges with an all emerald squad and win basically. So makes sense, I suppose. Either way, um, I will do a little playbook video and i'll go through all the playbooks and let you know exactly you know if there are any pretty good plays um and what the playbooks are good at specifically so we'll kind of go through that either way it's been your boy cheap loots comment down below if you're interested in that video i have had a couple people reach out to me and ask me for a couple like playbook tips um I'll also start talking about the freelance options and stuff like that so um it's been your boy cheap loots please uh you know, like, comment. If you made it this far and you're new, subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers. Um, check out the Patreon. Check out twitch.tv backslash cheap ludes if you want to watch me stream. Like I said, comment down below and I may do a draft stream later uh, tomorrow when the draft begins. We'll see how that works. Um, anyways, I appreciate everyone who's watching the vids and anyone who supports the channel, especially at Patreon, um, on the Patreon level or donations via Twitch. Hey, you are the GOAT for that. I appreciate you. I got bills to pay. Anyways, it has been your boy Cheap Ludes, and I am signing off. I'll be back later.